one of the other things I often hear is that people call them bisex themselves bisexual because it's easy. I also hear that bisexual people don't experience oppression. You don't feel pain the way we lesbians and gay men feel pain <laughs> because you have all kinds of privilege and the option to pass and blah, 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 blah. And you know, my experience is that identifying as bisexual does not rid you of negative stigma or stereotypes. It just gives you a different and yet overlapping set of stereotypes. And I personally believe that it takes a lot of courage to stand up publicly and identify as bi plus because that, because of all that and more. Your list is actually pretty short. I've seen much, much longer and disturbing lists. So that said, when I first came out as bi, I came out my very first month of college, which was statistically on target for my generation age cohort. The average age for women to come out was 18, and so I did. <laughs> and, but what happened is I started college. A month later, I fell head over heels in love with another woman, and I was scared to death because I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to say anything out loud. And I was certain that if I told anyone about my identity that I would be completely summarily rejected, ejected, kicked out of the world, that nobody would love me anymore. I had all kinds of internalized stuff going on. And I'm on, honestly, I'm not sure where I got it from, but I had it. And what I ended up doing was Strategically, I became best friends with three gay men, Ernesto, Terrence, and Kenny. They were my guys. I did everything with them so I could be that straight girl who hungs, hangs out with the gay men. And so I could kind of tip my, tip my toes into the LGBT community, or actually it was a lesbian and gay community back then. I could dip my toes into the community without saying anything out loud. And I don't, I don't think I even realized at the time I was doing that, but I think it was in fact a great survival tactic looking back with 2020 hindsight. And so I watched and I listened and I learned and I heard a lot of things that shut me up and shut me down. And what I heard was all of this. I heard all of these negative things being said about bisexual people. Oh, I would never date a bisexual person. They will always leave you for a man. Like always or, or there's no such thing as bisexuality or all the different things that are on this list and so much more. And what that did is it shut me down. It kept me from coming out to anyone and even the place that should have felt safe. The lesbian and gay community really did not feel in the least bit safe. And so I got stuck. I got stuck in the space between knowing and operationalizing my identity. I didn't know how to go from knowing it about myself to saying it out loud. I really didn't know what to do. And it took me five years to come out to anyone. Is that healthy? It was so, it was horrible. It was actually one of the worst periods of my entire life. Um, after I graduated college, so I was silent all the way through college. All those missed opportunities. <laughs> and after I graduated college, I was working in a group home. And one evening, I was doing the overnight shift with a coworker. And we were sitting around talking, and she said to me, hey, Robin, there's something I want to tell you. And I said, what's that, Joanne? And she said, I'm bisexual. And I said, so am I. <laughs> and I waited for the thunder and the lightning, and nothing happened. She just smiled, and she said, oh, that's great. And that was the first time I had ever said it out loud. And honestly, I felt as though someone had taken a large boulder and lifted off of my head. I didn't even realize how much silence weighed until that moment when I first spoke up. I felt a sense of lightness. Has anyone here ever gone hiking or backpacking or carried a big heavy backpack or children that are sleeping on your shoulder and you take it off and all of a sudden you feel like there's no gravity? Like, I just felt had that lighter than air feeling and I don't think I realized how much the silence had weighed. Anyway, I finally came out to people and it was so wonderful and almost everyone I came out to, but not everyone, responded better than my worst fears. People still, still said really awful things, but they weren't really as bad as my worst fears, and my mother still did love me. 